It's September 10th, 2015, and the tech world is still decompressing from Apple's big day of announcements yesterday. We saw the expected iPhone 6S, the giant iPad Pro, and of course, the new Apple TV, which may have been the most important reveal, actually. With its Siri-based voice command system, motion control wand, and media partnerships, which glaringly did not include Amazon Prime Instant Video. Will it change the way we watch TV? We'll have a review as soon as it's released. And of course, we have a complete wrap-up and analysis of all of Apple's new product announcements, along with the latest rumors on what's coming next from Cupertino. Anyone who recalls the torturously slow days of dial-up internet will feel for NASA, which is just now beginning to receive a massive data dump from the New Horizons space probe after its close encounter with Pluto. NASA hasn't said how much data the plucky probe is sending back, but at just one to four kilobytes per second, they did say it's going to take an entire year to download it all. What's in all that slow boat data is a bunch of very up close photos of the dwarf planet and a lot of analytical bits and bytes. New Horizons is heading for the Kuiper Belt now and should remain active for 20 more years. NASA says it's looking at steering New Horizons towards another small planetoid in 2019. I'm betting NASA would give anything for one of those 56K modems right about now. Get the rest of the day's latest tech news at digitaltrends.com. That's it for DT Daily today. We'll be back again tomorrow.